So I've had a similar question from a lot of you this week about how to center your logo. So I thought I would make a quick video showing you how and explaining the reasoning for what we're doing just so that you have it for us to watch in class this week as well as on your own in case it takes a couple tries to get it working for yourself. So the first thing I want to remind you is that everything for your file should be in one file, right? Everything for your website. So this I'm going to call, I called this test for class. It's an example I was working on earlier today. And all I'm going to put in this is how to center an image. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on this and open it with Adobe Dreamweaver so that I can reopen the project I was already in. Now, I was fiddling around with here earlier, so I'm going to empty it back out to make sure it's where it starts. So again, you know me, the first thing I like to do is add a bunch of lines in here just to make sure that I don't accidentally type outside the body because if you do, you're in trouble, right? It's not going to work. Now that I'm in here, I'm going to go to my HTML coding and I'm going to add a section. And I'm going to call it S1. And then in my section, I'm going to add an image. Now this image lives inside the pictures file inside my folder or it wouldn't work. Some people get to this phase and the first thing they think is amazing, I'm good to go, it's already moved over. But it's actually moved over because you forgot to delete the words. And these words can appear when you just use the click method and you wanna make sure you delete them to keep the page professional looking. So once that's gone, I have my image, which right now is justified off to the side inside the section. I want to highlight it so that I can add some style because centering is styling. So you're going to find it in that area. And in order to do that, I can do one of three things. I can click on the block in my live view. I can highlight it down here in my coding view, or I can click on the section down here. I know some people have had issues in the past where some of these options aren't working, which is why I wanted to take a minute to ensure you know that there are three different ways this can be working and that you can be most useful that way. Also, if you find that a lot of your images have little broken X's in the corner, that means you don't have it all in one file and it's having a tough time seeing the images. So you want to organize your files properly. Okay. So back to what we're doing. This becomes really simple after this. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to my CSS designer. For source, I'm going to choose define in page because I wanted to find everything separately. And I'm going to add a selector with the plus button after I highlight my area. And it's going to choose this .s1 image. Then you have to press enter. If you don't press enter, this doesn't save and you can't go any further. Um, you'll see it appear down here. It's no longer in the search. You can click out and in of it. And that means that you've done it the right way. Okay. So now in layout, you have to define what this is. And in display, this image is a block. So you're going to call it a block. Okay. And then when it's a block, you want it to be a centered block. So over here, we have the layout, the text, the properties and whatnot. And a lot of people come here and click center and it doesn't work. And they're like, well, why? Because that's about the text. And right now we're talking about the layout of this section and where this block fits in that layout. So if you scroll down, you have the margins of the page and right now they're all set at zero. But if you change the left and right margins to say auto, it automatically makes them the same and saves your image right smack dab in the middle. Yay! I hope this helps. Can't wait to see you all in class. Have a great night. Bye. Don't forget to save.